The burdens of a life in stand-up comedy are no joke. Just ask our Jim Gaffigan. What's your job like now? The reason I ask is because this CBS Sunday morning thing isn't my only job. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing these segments, but like many of you, I have a couple jobs. Well, I had a couple jobs. See, in addition to doing these things, I'm also a writer and an actor. Well, I was an actor. Then again, during the pandemic, I've been acting like I'm not going crazy. <laughs> my main job, or my day job, is actually a night job. I'm a stand-up comedian. Because when you have kids, you lie to them all the time. You're like, you wouldn't like this ice cream. It's very spicy. <laughs> For the past 30 years, 300 nights a year, I perform stand-up comedy. Thank you. I've performed everywhere. Clubs, bars, laundromats, theaters, arenas. I even performed once at a rodeo because I have a good agent. But then boom, COVID hits. Getting groups together during a highly contagious pandemic is not a good idea. So what's a comedian to do? A comedian needs an audience. Stand-up is a conversation. There's no fourth wall. Sure, the conversation's kind of one-sided. Only the comedian has a microphone and the audience communicates by laughter, but it's a communication. The laughter of the audience is not just enjoyed by the comedian, it's enjoyed by everyone. There's a sense of community that's built. Can stand-up be performed virtually via Zoom? I suppose, but nothing beats the in-person experience. But how? Well, last Sunday, in the parking lot of a horse track in New Jersey, I performed my first drive-in stand-up show. This is my first one. That's right. I performed stand-up comedy to close to a thousand cars. People were sitting inside the cars or socially distanced on top of their roofs. Was it ideal? No. Were the laughs as loud? Definitely not. But it was a show. And for a couple hours, through my jokes, and through the flicking lights and the faint laughter and the beeping horns, a community was built. Did that community look like a traffic jam? It sure did. But I'll take it.